Alrighty, what is going on guys and welcome back to Warframe. Oh, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. How are you guys all doing? Hopefully you're all doing super well. We're back on it, like I said. Uh, I'm not, not, um, not missed very much. Obviously we've got the new Primes and we've got the new open world stuff which are streamed, but... I don't know, I've kind of... I don't know. I don't know what I was going to... I don't even know what I was going to say then, to be fair. It's been a while anyway. How are you guys all doing? Um... Taking my break, I'm back on it now. I'm not playing every day yet. Uh, I've, I, well, I have been on every day actually for the last like week. Um, trying to slowly ease my way back into it because I don't want to burn myself out. That's the problem I had first. That's why I stopped playing. I, I felt like, you know, all those build videos I did. I probably did over a hundred in the space of a few months, and then I started feeling like that was getting quite repetitive and burnout's one of the worst things you can experience doing stuff like this so anyways i'm not entitled to do this so who gives a fuck but we're back on it anyway i'm going to start doing builds and maybe revisit some older weapons or some things that have changed we'll see but today we're going to take a look at the bubonic bubonic this giant fuck off arm cannon which is uh, actually a shotgun believe it or not <laughs> So I don't know how you, I, I bought this. I don't know where you get it from. I'm not sure. I'm, I have no doubt. You know, look in the wiki or something if you want to find out where to get it from. I just bought it because I managed to get like a mega discount and I still had loads of plat left. And this has become like one of my favorites. I love this gun. So like I said, it's an arm cannon. So it's got infinite ammo. It's got like uh, like the Shedu. That's the old fire. As you can see, it's got infinite ammo, but it's got a little bit of charge time. And it's got two fire modes. So we've got our first fire mode, which is kind of like a shotgun. Really cool. It's a slashy weapon, by the way. As you can see, absolutely goes in. There's the mode that does all the damage. 28 crits. Uh, slashes. 20 slashes. And then the alt fire, I, to be honest with you, I just use that to spread status. I don't really use it for anything else. Because, like, trying to use that to get a kill probably going to be there a while. Oh, we, can take this one. we can try it, but yeah, it doesn't seem, it's more like a, kind of use it like a debuff cloud. It's a good way of spreading status if you're using a, a melee weapon. You stand up here. I just completely missed that jump. How to tell I've not done this for a while. Okay, this is awkward. Come on, third time lucky. As you can see, it explodes, there's 10 viral on everyone, cold as well. It does some damage, as you can see, they're losing health, but it's kind of like... Not really... Not really, uh... Not really doing much to, in terms of damage, but... It should be more like He says. So, if you're doing survivals, Sitting in a, a doorway, I managed to do a. Uh, what did I do? Was it an arbitration? No, it wasn't. Arbitration. Sorty, that's what it was. Did the sorty uh, survival on my own. And I sat in a doorway, of course. Break this a bit, and then went in. So, yeah, there's a few builds I'm going to show you today. Um, but it's three. Uh, this one is a relatively cheap one, and as you can see, it doesn't look bad. So, it is a slashy weapon. Uh, well, that's how I have it built anyway. There might be other ways to do it. Well, there's definitely other ways to do it, but I, I do it this way. So, this is what I'm using. So, I'm using the normal mods for now. So, this is like a relatively, in quotation marks, cheapish build. Point blank for damage, ravage, blunderbuss, crit chance, crit damage, hell's chamber for multi shot, vicious, uh, vicious spread for damage and spread, hunt munitions. Frigid Blast. The weapon comes built in with a uh, toxin on it already, so you don't need the other one. Uh, and then Vigilante Armaments. Now, I do believe we can use like Chilling Reload. So, the Reload, 0.5. Is that how long it takes before? Let's just have a look. Let's, let's use all these uh, all our shots. Look how quick that takes to go back up. So, that's how quick the ammo count goes up there. And if I put Chilling Reload on. Is it going to make it any further? I never, we, we did, we have this conversation on the Shady video about how quick that, what reload effect. 
Does that make a difference? I don't know. I might, if I remember, I'll put up a side by side, but I just have the extra status on there for now. Although no doubt it's completely different all over the place. And then vigilant elements for multi shot. Now, if if I was playing, so you've seen it without uh, the prime mods. It's really good, right? So we're going to swap all this out for the prime stuff, which, to be fair, only makes the crit numbers do a bit more. And then we're going to start doing these. Oh, it's been so long. I have to remember how exactly I have these done. It has actually been forever. So that, that's build number one anyway, actually. I should probably go into that about all these other builds. Actually, I'll just show off this build first, because this is the one I prefer, and then at the end I'll go into uh, all the other one. So as you can see, no issue at all with Ash. One shot. Maybe a one shot. One shot. No armor, no health. So yeah, you can see. It's easily one of my favorite. I mean, I really like the Shedu. And I really like this one. This is probably one of the cooler ones to come out of any update they've brought out recently. Who else do we use? Rhino, we use you. Not that Rhino, though. That Rhino. Then who do we use? Wisp. Oh, I, I need. I probably should have watched an old one to realise how I do this. <laughs> it's been that long. So, yeah. Punch through. Easy. Good see. Really good. Really, that's 50k bleed then. So, Rhino mains are all good. What else do we use? We use Wisp. Is this it? This might be it. That's probably it. It's been that long, I don't know. So then, how do you, do you get some status going? I get that fire rate. Yeah, it's got a bit of recoil. It really does. It really does. So you survived. Just. How much of a difference does it make with the fire rate if I use the alt fire? Oh yeah, quite a big difference. Yep, so it's pretty decent, and then this one is going to go how you'd expect it to go. I know how this one's going to go already. I didn't forget about this. Where are you? You know how this one's going. Yeah, about how you'd expect it to go. Mirage is still amazing, doesn't matter how much of a break you've got. So that's a fully built, fully arcane Mirage, by the way. So, um, yeah, you might not get the same numbers. Right. Look at that, it makes the alt fire do stupid amounts of damage. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, like I said, my favourite uh, weapon, probably so. Well, not my favourite in, in forever, obviously, there are different ramos and things like that but it's definitely one of my favorites so that was that was this is the build i would use this is the build i have used uh, in all of my main experience i call it so we go point blank ravage blunderbuss hell's chamber uh hunting munitions vicious spread frigid blast and fish and armaments so that's what i use and then if you don't have the prime mods just use normal ones you saw it at the very beginning it works insanely well so this build is relatively the same. Uh, the only thing we lose is we lose, uh, what's it called? Vicious spread for fire rate. So if you'd like to use this one instead, we'll swap to a frame that doesn't boost our uh, damage. Use mag. Ooh. Oh, that looks so good. Also, I'm on the uh, 
Does this glitch still happen? I don't think it does. It's like a, a test room glitch where everything would go all funny. And we're also on a, this is the first build video by the way, where we're on PS5, so we can enjoy that 1080p quality. So, I don't know if anybody ever made much note of that in the previous ones, but yeah, we're now at 1080 60fps, which is perfect. So yeah, this is just fire rate, you know how this is going to go. You saw how it went first. It's not going to go any, oh Jesus, it's not going to go any different now. So yeah. This build also works really well. Um, one thing I would recommend if you have the extra former and the aura, aura, is it called aura? Do I have the space to do it now? Uh, no, whatever this is called. And then you can chuck on Exilus, that's the one. What's it called? Do you have one for shotguns? Oh, never mind then. I thought. There's no recoil mod for shotguns. Yeah, I suppose not. That sounds a bit busted. They, they ignore me. There isn't one. I was going to say put something on that could reduce your recoil a bit, but... It doesn't exist, so that shows how long I've fucking had off. And the last build is using both of the cold mods, so that's reload, uh, chilling reload and frigid blast, which gives me way more status. This build's probably better on in like the super end game late game run. As you can see, this build also shreds. I really do like it. A lot of the, well, I mean, all of the arm cannons so far are really powerful. So this one props way more viral, um, obviously, because it's got more stat shots. Now, it is a shotgun, like I said, so if we look over the stats quick, it will show you that you also have multi-shot. So I'm shooting 19 pellets. Or whatever the fuck comes out of whatever this is. So 19 arm cannon, whatever the fuck they are. I don't know what you'd call them. But call them pellets for shotgun's sake. And yeah, that's what you're using. Um, so obviously like 47% crit chance on like a normal weapon isn't the best. It's pretty shit. Considering when, when you're using blunderbuss as well, that's a pretty shit chance rate. But because we're doing we're 19 shots technically, so 19, 47.5% chances, you're going to proc a few of them. And that's where the slashes come from. And that's why we, you see him get hit with like 8 or 9 slashes in one shot. Yeah, that, That's why, because you're shooting 19 pellets at once with 14% status chance. So uh, if you're shooting 19 at a 40% crit rate chance, at a 15 will say percent status chance rate, two or three status procs and like I said half almost half of your uh, shots will crit so that's the uh, the not at all how the game actually works but that's kind of how it works talk through uh, yeah that has been that so there you guys go the boobonico it's nice to be back uh, for all of you that have subscribed and you've waited around for Warframe I do appreciate you like I said I'm not forcing myself to do this YouTube isn't a job it's a hobby um, I know a lot of people enjoyed uh, the Warframe builds and things like that and it helped them. And like I said, I do apologise for not keeping it up, but burnout is something I really don't want to uh, have to deal with. Especially having to do, you know, big well, big boy things like have a, you know, proper job and things like that. Burnout, is, this is something that I can come home after a really shit day at work and have fun doing. Not, oh, it's a shit day at work and I've got to go home and do something really shit as well. You know what I mean? So... Not forcing these out. Uh, there's a few new weapons that have come out that I need to get. Um, there's a few open worldy stuff that I might do. Maybe I might stream it. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but the open world stuff in Warframe is really boring to me. I, I have no interest in doing it at all. So we'll see where that goes. Um, but if you guys have enjoyed that, please leave a like down below. Subscribe. If there's anything new that I've missed, be sure to let me know in the comments. Like I said, I'm, I haven't anything after the actual update for the uh, demos or the new infested open world. Anything that's new after that, I probably don't know about, other than like the new Prime weapons and things like that. So yeah, like I said, if you enjoy, like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Links and stuff like that are in the description down below. It's been your boy Acid, we're back, back on PS5 from now on. Have a good day, and I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.